Glue-like proteins, called cohesins, are used by cells to keep DNA molecules stable and to repair damaged strands. Cohesins also play several important roles in chromosomes during cell division. Now, lead author Jill heidinger Polly, along with colleagues at Carnegie's Department of Embryology, has found for the first time that cohesins are needed in different concentrations for their different functions. The research was made possible by a new technique which enables scientists to gradually reduce the concentration of a protein in living cells. A cell has a four-phase life cycle, growth, synthesis, growth, and mitosis. During the synthesis phase, DNA inside the cell's nucleus duplicates, resulting in two identical daughter chromosomes called sister chromatids. These twins must remain connected until the cell is ready to divide. This moment occurs in the last step of the cell cycle, the mitosis phase. During mitosis, cohesins play a role as chromosomes condense. Then fibrous structures called spindles form and attach to the chromosomes. Cohesin keeps the sisters properly glued until it is time for the spindles to pull the sisters to opposite sides of the cell. The cell then separates into genetically identical twins. The research revealed that DNA stability and repair, as well as chromosome condensation, were compromised by decreasing cohesion to 30% of normal levels. However, sister chromatid cohesion and chromosome segregation were not affected, even with levels at only 13% of normal. Normally, cohesin binds to regions throughout chromosomes, but the scientists found that when cells only had a small amount of cohesin, it preferentially binds to the center of chromosomes. They didn't know that this hierarchy existed before, and it helps explain why some cohesin functions might be more affected than others. The research is published in the online May 6th and print May 25th, 2010 editions of Current Biology.